Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. This is going to be a beautiful general message for our beloved Scorpios. This reading will resonate with you. If you have placements in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, Rose, Mars. This is a general reading, so that means eat the fish that I've thrown. It doesn't apply, let it fly by. The card just slipped away. And what we have is promotion, pay increase, lucrative business deals, and be thankful. This could be a bonus message for some of you all. Some of you could be definitely um, receiving some sort of promotion. Maybe you have learned um, recently that your, your pay is being increased. Perhaps I'm hearing the number 13%. Maybe some of you are making $13,000 more than what your current role is making. Um, maybe during on the 13th of November um, or the 13th of even this month, it will become effective that you will have some sort of pay increase. Maybe some of you all will hear from a job offer on the 13th of the month. Um, we have right now Bring Me Down playing by Saigon uh, featuring Joe, um, Joe Budden. So I do feel like um, in the past you may have felt like somebody was kind of bringing you down. Um, whether that be, you know, a supervisor, maybe some of the your coworkers, or maybe even just the people in your surroundings, maybe family, um, fake friends. Maybe you've discovered some folks around you really wasn't praying for you. They were praying on you. Um, so it's almost as if the divine is saying, like, you know, you can't stop what's divinely meant for you. So this promotion pay increase is the divine's way of showing you that, you know, no one can stunt your growth. You know, as long as you apply yourself and you don't get distracted, you know, by people's shenanigans and act, you know, actions and you stay focused on your goal, you will hit your mark every time. See, I didn't even see this card. We got deception, uh, tricknology, the illusionists, be very, very weary. So you were dealing with some snakes, some folks that were... Uh, literally wearing a false mask and with this uh, bring me down song playing I do feel like these people were plotting and scheming um, trying to sabotage you sabotage um, opportunities for you maybe even um, love ships connections you d you just realize you was dealing with a lot of Judas's um, and a lot of Jezebel energy um, right now we have um, gangsta boo playing where the dollars at so somebody was really trying to deceive you um, for money, for security, for stability. Um, somebody was probably shortchanging you at your job. They knew that you should be making a certain amount and they was trying to, um, they was trying to cut you. You know, they was trying to cut you short or, or give you less than what you deserve. But I feel like your persistence um, and you not focusing on, you know, what they were trying to do and just continuing to do your job to the best of your ability, being efficient, following up, um, doing what you needed to do, the divine blissed you because it's almost as if somebody was trying to create a wall or a block um, with this deception. You know, someone was literally looking in your face, deceiving you, saying, hey, there's nothing I can do. I can't increase your pay. Uh, meanwhile, you're the top performer in your role or you're the you know, the, the one running around like a chicken with your head cut off, doing everything, everyone's job, but they were trying to shortchange you. So, you know, in the back of your mind, you're like, yo, where are them dollars at? This isn't like, it isn't adding up. The work that I'm doing isn't adding up to the money that I'm bringing in. And so I feel like with, with your persistence, in addition to your hard work, and you not getting distracted, or even feeling anyone was powerful enough to block your blessings, now there is, you know, some sense of a promotion and a pay increase. And with where them dollars at, it's like you're going to get a very, very um, handsome pay increase. But I digress. That's what I was picking up uh, just from that intro. Very interesting. But um, for all of you who are new, welcome. My name is Q. I am also a Scorpio and I am clairaudient, obviously. I listen to music and I incorporate those messages into the reading. And they tend to blend very beautifully. Um, this is a general reading, as I said, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also timeless, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, it is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, ashe, 
I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I also call upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, Baba Orula, Mama Yemenya, Baba Alegua, and Mama Oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I also call upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, and Archangel Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be, Ashe. I also call upon the great Mama Lakshmi and the great Baba Lord Ganesh. And so it is, so mote it be, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's tap in, tune in. You do have some deceptive energy. You do have some people who's trying to pull a wool over your eyes, trying to deceive you, gaslight you, betray you. They're trying to sabotage something. I feel like these are people who are in their shadow side. Um, maybe these are individuals that are like your karmic, um, you know, karmic lessons. Maybe you've discovered some of these people uh, were karmics. And... Um, and you've broke some sort of curse. You didn't fall for the okie doke. I feel like you found the antidote, in fact, you know, and that antidote was, you know, focusing on you, healing you, and cutting that negative energy out. So let's tap into it and see what's coming and coming out, going on. See what I, y'all manifested this, you know, whatever's coming in for you. I feel like y'all manifested because when you stop, when you don't get distracted, it's like you set, you know, your. When you focus your intentions on what you want, then you can manifest it that much, um, you know, that that much faster, uh, but also you can manifest easier. Um, and I feel like you are highly intuitive and the divine is telling you to trust your inner gumption. Trust what you know. Trust what you feel. Uh, when it comes to certain people around you, like if you question certain people's motives, certain people's intentions, um, that's coming up for a reason. So trust that. Don't question it. Don't think that you're being, you know, paranoid. Like, trust what you're feeling. And so we have um, Rihanna Diamonds playing right now. So you definitely are a diamond in the rough. See that? And Flighty just flew out. So for this promotions, pay increase, lucrative business deals, I feel like you definitely are... Uh, going to be, you know, basking in some form of, ex you know, like opulence. You're going to be finding things expanding for you, growing for you. You was dealing with a very flighty energy. You know, this is an energy that is not recep reciprocal or rece um, receptive to you. Unreliable and impulsive. That's very childish. Because that's not someone that you can really depend upon. Somebody could be um, trying to communicate something to you. It could be some form of a letter. I'm hearing an apology, so I don't know. Maybe that could be from some folks that you have cut off. See, that patience is a form of action, and that's exactly why you're now being rewarded, because you were very patient. And in your patience, um, you wasn't just twiddling your thumbs. You wasn't just waiting for a blessing to come knock on the door, just beat you in the head, falling from the sky. I feel like you literally... You, you were proactive, you were busy, you kept busy, you honed your skills, you mastered your craft, craft, you learned as much as you could, you stayed diligent, and you persevered through the difficulties. So I feel like, you know, and with this song, Diamond, I feel like I just keep hearing Diamond in the rough. You know, other people didn't see your worth, other people didn't see your value, but you always knew what you brought. And what did I say about somebody praying on your downfall? So they weren't praying for you. They were praying on your downfall, especially with that deceptive energy. And now somebody's coming in with a fake, a fake apology. I feel it's a fake apology because when you're praying on someone's downfall, it's like you're intentionally trying to um, send harm someone's way. You have malice and contempt in your heart towards that person for whatever reason. And I just feel like it's because you're built different. You're you're of a different breed. Um, and it's often misunderstood, misinterpreted. Um, you know, how Scorpios move. Um, we're very private because we've learned from former situations that people can't be trusted and we won't trust you until you prove otherwise. So I feel like you have been seen as someone who's very different or weird or um, mysterious and that, that, you know, sometimes your, your, 
energy can disturb other people's demons but i feel like you're absolutely um discovering or knew that you was around some negativity um or it's coming to light that you had some folks who was really preying on your downfall who was really trying to sabotage opportunities or block certain blessings and delay um, you know, certain things from coming in for you. The divine is telling you to wear your protective jewels, amulets, because there's a lot of evil that lurks around you. And I feel like this evil is very persistent. You know what I'm saying? But the more that they pray on your downfall, the more I feel that you're going to persevere because you are that diamond in the rough. Diamonds are the most beautiful gem, one of the most beautiful gems. But what it goes to become to become that is, you know, it's it's unknown. You know, a lot of people don't know the process of a diamond becoming that beautiful sparkly thing that men put on women's fingers or that women find in their earlobes. It's like this diamond goes through a process. The pressure, you know, it, it busts pipes and it creates diamonds. And that's what you are literally doing right now. And people are jealous because they're seeing that you are being um, rewarded in some way that you're, you know, there's just some, some jealousy and these people are not reliable anyway. I feel like they weren't much of friends or they weren't much of, um, they weren't stand up in any way, shape, form or fashion. They don't even have any type of integrity. Um, these are people who have very childish tendencies and they're very low vibration, very toxic. Um, they feel like the world owes them something. Um, so we have um, Count Ozzy and the Mystic Revolution, and this um, this is called Lumba. Lumba. So yeah, you've 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 um, definitely discovered some folks was deceptive, and I feel like you called people out on it. You know, with you ain't got to lie, Craig, I feel like you literally looked the devil in their face and rebuked it. You know, like you literally was like, you ain't got to lie, Craig. You told them straight to their face. You're a liar. I know you're lying. And now that's even more of a reason why they're praying on your downfall, because the jig is up. It's almost like you pulled the mask off their face. You know what I'm saying? And you realized who was chasing you all that time. Who was the ones like doing all the dirt behind the scenes. So with this trust issues, that's what I was just picking up. Like you are not as trusting of people and their intentions because the people that you've trusted, you've discovered, they were literally praying on your downfall. And with this song, Count Ossie and the Mystic Revolution, I feel like with that mystic, that was again, like veggie back and off of the point I was picking up with, you know, people being intimidated or misunderstanding, you know, um, misunderstanding or Mr. Understanding who you are as a person, finding you mysterious, finding you to be weird, finding you to be a little like off. And it's just because they don't understand the depth. And I feel like, you know, with your trust issues, you're very particular about who you have around you and what you involve and engage yourself in. You're not as available. Maybe that's another reason why people are, you know, really preying on your downfall because they can't find a way in to get to you because you have such a protection unpenetratable wall around you like a fiery wall of protection around you that you're not just um, open to everyone so that's very interesting so let's tap in tune and I'm getting a lot of messages just from the pre-shuffle so let's go ahead tap in tune and what's coming and going out going on yeah but you're very mysterious very mysterious and I feel like a lot of people are drawn to that whereas a lot of people feel um, just like I said it's like you know your beautiful vibration your high vibration your light it irritates other people's demons it irritates them you know what I'm saying because you're being you authentically and that's something that they don't know how to do because they've been wearing masks so long and it's like to see you being you unapologetically it disturbs and distracts them and they can't stand that shit so what we have here is judas look at that can't make this shit up so you have a lot of energy around you judas energy is people who are very deceptive very flighty this is people who like i said they tend to sit back and watch and pray on your downfall try to uh you know strategize ways to to sabotage situations these are people who are thinking about you and what you have going on entirely too much this wasn't even going to be the they pray and pray on your downfall this is literally just an energy check-in and this is turning into a they pray and pray on your downfall reading and i feel like because you are so divinely connected to your angels ancestors because you spend a lot of time and utilize 
utilize a lot of time cultivating a relationship with your ancestors and your spirit team, your guides, your deities, connecting with source, grounding yourselves, healing, transmuting negative energy. This is why you're protected. Um, your angels are always communicating to you. So I feel like a lot of you are either having very lucid dreams. Some of you are receiving messages via your dreams. Maybe some of your ancestors are coming through in your dreams, um, but you are being forewarned. I feel like you intuitively know who these Judases are because you, like I said, you looked the devil in the eye and called them out on their bullshit. So this Judas energy definitely feels um, seen by you. And so with this flighty in and out, it's like this energy is the type, it's like they come in um, when they feel that you uh, have your defenses down or when they feel like there's some sort of uh, way into sabotage and then they flee when they see that you're not with the bullshit and so it's like they keep coming back and forth but you have to close the door you have to bolt that fucking door so they can't return and so with this energy it's like they are trying to find ways in and that's why I kept saying like you know with that that energy, I feel like, with the unpenetratable wall, I feel like, you know, it, it, you're literally protected by your angels and your guides. Uh, but I do feel like there are up, there are situations where this energy tends to ghost and then reappear, ghost and reappear. So if you have anyone like that, that tends to disappear, then reappear, disappear, they are not rocking with you really. So be mindful. And I feel like the divine also wants you to um, take some time, to, you know, if you haven't been connecting because I picked up initially on people um, on the Scorpios who are connecting with their angels, guides, and ancestors who are taking the time out to give offerings, who are taking the time out to meditate, to connect, you know, to build and forge and develop a relationship with their ancestors, with their deities, with their spirit team. But if you know that you are not doing that, this is strongly encouraging you to do so. Even if you don't have a sacred space or an altar in your home, just create one. You know, you should create a space where you can connect to your angels and your guides and you can place it wherever you feel um, you will have that opportunity where it's uninterrupted to connect, to meditate, to communicate with your guides. So create a sacred space and give them offerings. Um, offerings can come by means of setting plants, flowers, um, even plates of food putting their favorite candies learn you have to develop a relationship to learn what it is um that your deities your angels your ancestors like give them nicotine on mondays um by blowing you know tobacco smoke on the altar um set up beautiful figurines or statues of your favorite deities of your spiritual parents um ones that you know you resonate and connect with uh the ones that tend to you know, communicate with you on a soul level, like literally develop a relationship. That's what the divine is telling you. So let's tap into it. And we have, um, it says Hollywood skip. So look at this financial freedom. So when you do that, your divine, your, your angels and ancestors are, um, literally showering you with blessings with blessings, with opportunities, with promotion, with opulence, with expansion, with new beginnings, with new opportunities. It's like there's financial freedom here and promotion and pay increase. So these are two cards which are suggesting that you have a lot of um, abundance coming in for you. Um, and these are blessings from the divine, rewards from the divine. And I feel like, as I said, someone could be like, you know, literally trying to apologize because as I said, you know, someone was called out. You may have called someone out um, on their bullshit, on their shenanigans. And now somebody is like literally like stuck in their head, um, you know, about whatever it is that you said, whatever lie you discovered, whatever deception um, you may have felt from this person. And with little Kim, um, this is called Hollywood skit. So, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like somebody with, with a little Kim reference, maybe someone, like I said, was being very immature. Um, and so now they're they're seeing that. So divine spirit. What else? What are the, what additional messages? Wow, that's a lot. 
that that's a lot. What did I say? Somebody was being immature and then you have second childhood. So this person wasn't on your level. I feel like they weren't on your level and that's why you're leveling up and that's why there's this disdain and this jealousy and this envy because it's like this person for a long time was able to deceive you. They were able to get away with a lot. They were able to pull a lot of um, tricks out their sleeve. You know what I'm saying? They was able to bamboozle you, you know, dupe you for a long time. And I feel like you finally woke up, you know what I'm saying? And it's because, like I said, y'all started to develop relationships with your spirit team. And they started giving you, you know, that spiritual guidance and started to awaken you to what was really going on right up under your nose. So what we have here is you are beauty in every fashion of the word, internal and external. Believe you can and you will. Karma Dharma, you reap what you sow, sowing in good faith. Let me move these down. And we have deception, tricknology, the illusionist, be very, very weary, can't be trusted. Words of spells and spells bind, mind your words and stay protected. Kings, queens, disease, gluttony, power hungry. For the love of money, moolah, dough, cheddar cheese, biscuits greed so two cards now we see why this person has been a Judas because you were their cash cow this person is definitely this person definitely is focused on your coins this is somebody who is, has been very um, and we have um, Wu-Tang and this is I can't go to sleep so somebody's riddled with some sort of regret because I feel like you cut them off and now they're receiving some sort of karma because you've discovered that somebody was a, an illusionist. They was a master manipulator, a gaslighter, very deceptive, speak with a forked tongue. And this is where all the lies, all the gossip, all the, the spells they were trying to send your way. I feel like someone is now receiving karma for the shit they was doing in private, you know, because your angels and your spirit team have been protecting you. And I feel like you started to believe in yourself. This person was li literally like making you feel less than. Whoever this person was, they had control. What was I saying about somebody being able to control you, you know, earlier? Maybe they was, you know, able to, you know, get away with a lot you know, in the beginning. And I feel like, you know, this same person was really spewing a lot of hate. You know, they could have been like trying to defame your character, assassinate your character, trying to change other people's opinions about you or telling people things that were simply just not true. But this person was very greedy. This was someone who was only with you for the love of money. I feel like a lot of you, Scorp Scorpios, because you have this promotion pay increase and then financial freedom, I feel like a lot of you were very successful and abundant. Whoever this person is, they saw you as someone that they could, you know, take advantage of, take for granted, use to, at their free will, you know, to their disposal. And I feel like what you started to do was you started to pull the wool from your eyes. You started to remove those rose-colored glasses. Maybe a lot of you didn't believe that you could be independent, stand alone, stand direct. Um, maybe you felt like you needed this person. Maybe this was an, a codependent um, relationship or partnership. Um, but I feel like, you know, once you started to believe in yourself, I believe that that's when you really started to break whatever spell. Because with this words of spells and spells bind, this person literally um, was talking holes in your head and was able to mind fuck you to the point where you were questioning your ability. I feel like you started to believe um, in who you were. You started to, you know, discover or just started to believe that you were beautiful, that you were capable. You know, that you absolutely could stand erect, stand alone. You started to discover your worth, your value, your purpose. You know, and as you started to find that 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 strength, um, and as you started to take your power back slowly but surely, this started to break whatever bound, binding um, powers this person or this illusion has had. This is very dark energy, very um, much like that devil energy here, but I feel like this devil is now receiving karma. And this is probably why there's this four-page letter that they're penning and why they can't go to sleep at night according to 
um, Wu-Tang Clan featuring Isaac Hayes. So this person is riddled with regret, remorse. This was a very immature energy. You know, and it's like I said, this could be family. This could have been, you know, some, some folks that you consider to be family, people that you would have done anything for, only to discover that they was doing everything to sabotage, to prey on your downfall. This is this is rooted in jealousy and, and envy, and I feel like this started to get really um, out of control the more you started to advance, you know, the more blessings started to come in for you. When good things started to take place in your life, the more this person grew you know, very jealous, very envious, very uneasy. You know, this person was literally like, you know, trying to smile and beguile in your face. And I feel like this person also um, was pretending, pretending to be happy for you, pretending to be happy for your success. But all the while, this individual was literally like just very, very much, um, you know, they carried contempt, you know. And it's because they weren't on your level. You were advancing, you were ascending, you were growing, and they were stuck on stupid. And so while they were stuck, they was trying to hold you back from blowing, from growing and evolving. And this is people that you were close to. This was people that you trusted, people that you considered to be family, people that you called friend, people that you called bestie, your homie, your A1. Those are the ones that had the dagger. When you turned around, you discovered that. But Baba Ogun, I called upon Baba Ogun. And he brought you this victory. He brought you this success and this breakthrough ultimately because I feel like there was some sort of generational um, curse that was broken. I feel like there was a, some sort of yoke that was broken as well. Karmic cords that were uh, cut. And so we have um, Talib Kweli, Memories Live. So yes, yeah, somebody's definitely reminiscing, um, thinking about their behavior. Maybe this person is having to watch your ascension watch you be you and they're going to literally also watch you you know to c continue to have wish fulfillment because Baba Ogun just said you have breakthroughs victory and success so there are a lot of amazing things that are coming in for you and it's because you worked for it and now this person is seeing just how beautiful you are they're seeing how rare you are how much they missed an opportunity I keep hearing that diamond song by Rihanna so now they're realizing you're the diamond in the rough, that you're the rare find that they let slip away. And it's because maybe they didn't see your worth and value because they were able to be childish and immature for so long. So they didn't think you had the enough self-esteem or even the strength to walk away from them. But when you did, it snapped them out of whatever this, you know, whatever it, it, it broke, whatever control or it broke the spell it you you broke the spell by you know waking up to your purpose to your power that's powerful i love this so memories live so remember i can't um sleep by um isaac hayes i mean by um wu-tang clan featuring isaac hayes was just playing so let's tap them we're going to use the grimoire to pick up on this dark energy because it's very heavy so we want to see why these fools is hating we have on the bottom of the deck we have the moon so that goes along with the deception the tricknology the illusionist that person that was keeping secrets telling lies speaking with a forked tongue hiding things from you hiding you know providing misinformation even lying on you look at this look what's underneath that we have the two of pentacles so you see how this person is trying to kill this person and this sword is air energy. So it's almost like they were trying. What was I saying about somebody trying to assassinate someone's character? You know, even though this is the two of pentacles, you know, it was like somebody was literally like, you know, they was deceptive. It was like they were playing, you know, pretending to be, you know, uh, caring, loyal, ca pretending to be um, a great investment, even, you know, pretending to be family, you know, trying to be uh, solid. You know, pretending to be that. But deep down, what was underneath the surface is they was like praying on your downfall, trying to stab you, trying to assassinate your character. And I feel like with this light shining, I feel like you started to discover exactly who these people were. And as you discovered who they were, even though they're wearing these hoods, you were able to see their face clearly. You were able to see that they were the Judases, that they were demonic, that they were devils, that they were snakes, you know, that they've been deceiving you for a long time.
And I feel like a lot of you started to reflect back on conversations. See that? With the words of spells. This person was definitely casting spells, even speaking negatively, lying on your name. But what's in the dark always comes out in the light. And I feel like that's why, you know, this moon is here. Because maybe during this full moon, you're going to find out the details of what was being said. You're going to find out exactly what was said. You're going to find out... You know, who they was dealing with. If somebody was, you know, scheming with other people. Like, you're going to find out exactly what was going on behind your back. You know, the truth is coming to light. And with Eric B and Rakim, this is, um, I ain't no joke. And so, yeah, you ain't one to play with. You know, I feel like a lot of y'all are, you know, you, 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 you coming out, you're, the stinger is out. So it's on some ABG. Anybody could get it right now. So you ain't no joke. You ain't fooling with nobody. You ain't playing with nobody. Why? Because you're too damn grown for the games. And I feel like you're going to literally let everybody have it. Because as we saw there, you know, it's like when somebody's really trying to, to destroy you, to defame your character, it's like you can't handle them light. You have to handle them, you know, with, with force. And that's why, you know, Baba Ogun is here. Because Baba Ogun... Archangel Mikael, that's like that same vibration and energy. They both carry the swords um, and they get busy, you know. So they are very protective. And with Baba Ogun showing up, he's like, you're guaranteed a breakthrough. You're guaranteed victory. So whoever these people are, they don't know what they're dealing with. Because people don't know with whom they mess with. They don't know what spirit team. They don't know how high in rank you are in the spirit realm. They don't know who's rocking with you on the spiritual aspect of things. And they're steady trying to pray on your downfall and cast spells and do all this voodoo, hoodoo, juju shit. And all that shit will be returned to sender infinitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, And so they play these games not knowing who they're playing with. And so what we have here is the sun. What did I say? So you see things very clearly. You have clarity. Things have been illuminated. You're coming out of... You know, this tunnel full of bodies. Look at all these bodies and these demons trying to hold this person back. So it's like, you know, you're, you're coming out on the other side. There's a brighter day ahead. But you've discovered. So you got the moon and the sun. So you've discovered who was trying to keep secrets. You discovered who the snakes were. You discovered who those people were that were deceiving you. Who were backstabbing you, betraying your trust. You discovered all of that. And now there's freedom here. Better days ahead. This is the happiest card in the deck. And this is why that promotions and pay increase card is here. And this financial freedom and success card. Because it's like, when you believe in yourself, nobody else can tell you nothing. All you have to do is have a strong sense of willpower. You know, other people, you can't submit your will to other people. Then you, you grant them the power over you. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important. So let's tap into it and let's, let's clarify these messages. But you was dealing with a very immature, childish energy. You were dealing with people who obviously didn't know who you were. <laughs> and they was playing with the wrong one. They was playing games with the wrong one. And the one thing about Scorpio is, like I said, it's like once you realize who people are, your cutoff game is strong. It's like the way you forgive people is to forget them. Forget they even exist. You know, especially when you... Got people scheming on you as much as this. Like, look at this energy. This is some funky energy. You know what I'm saying? And they're really jealous because of the financial stability that you are manifesting. That you've worked hard for. It's like, you didn't just get this because you cute. You got this because you bust your ass to achieve this. To obtain this. These are things you've been working on for years. These are, you know what I'm saying? And and, and I feel like a lot of you, you know, this uh, these are ideas that are now starting to, you know, bring in this opulence this expansion you've been working on this business idea for years and now there's you know this door is opening for you but all these people see is the blessings and they don't see behind the scenes all that hard work and all those late nights you was up grinding and working your ass off and that's why i can't stand the hatred because people don't know what's going on behind the scenes they just see what they see you know and so right now we have um Softest place on earth by um, Escape. So we have the Ace of, what is this? The Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is here. So this is beautiful. So this pay increase is um, being clarified by the Ace of Swords. So definitely a lot of you, like I said, y'all started to master your craft. A lot of you started to work harder. You was getting new ideas. You was being more efficient. 
You know what I'm saying? And you literally cut off anything that was distracting you or trying to confuse you or block things. It's like you almost knew. You know what I'm saying? And with this escape, it was like you escaped people's attempts to 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 um, confuse you. You know, to talk circles around you. You know what I'm saying? Because with this Ace of Swords, it's like you literally are seeing things very clearly. There was no confusion. You saw who the key players were in, you know, um, in trying uh, to block things that were meant for you, that you knew were meant for you. And with this sun here, yes, everything became very clear, crystal clear, in fact. It's like you saw exactly who that you see how this person is. These people are trying to run out of this cave, but these demonic energies are kind of like chasing them and holding them back. That's what you was dealing with. You was dealing with people who were trying to keep you stuck where they were. But it's like you knew you had there's like new horizons. You're, you're looking towards brighter horizons, greater horizons. And these people want you to stay stuck in this tunnel, stuck in this vibration with them instead of them ascending and growing. And so it's like with this flighty ins and out, these are people unreliable. You know, you know, impulsively lying, saying, yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. When you would inquire on new opportunities or when you would, you know, communicate to your manager because they tell you, you know, it, it, it's more um, respectful and honorable to communicate with your supervisor um, that you're inquiring on new opportunities or that you're um that you're applying for new opportunities. So you did exactly that. You took all the right steps. You didn't try to cut corners. You didn't try to do no backhanded shit. So you spoke to your supervisor as instructed and you couldn't find anything. You couldn't land, you know, that promotion even though you you were highly qualified. Why? Because you was dealing with somebody who was unreliable. You was dealing with somebody who was very childish, someone who was in a supervisory position but thought that they had they were running some sort of dictatorship. Like somebody who just didn't want to see you advance, didn't want to see you grow. They were trying to roof you. You know what I'm saying? Roof meaning like the roof, the ceiling. So they was trying to stunt your growth. They were trying to block you from ascending and growing. Even though they knew you was probably more qualified than their ass. And because they knew somebody in a higher position, that's how they got the role. And they see your qualifications and are afraid that you might take their position, which is why they try to roof you. You know what I'm saying? But you escaped that with this song by um, Softest Place on Earth and Escape. I feel like you escaped that. Why? Because you, you, you planned, you prepared, you strategized, and you didn't get distracted by you know, these individuals, you continue to work hard and because you worked hard and because you didn't fall for the okie doke, because you didn't stay stuck in, 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 in this, you know, whirlwind of confusion and double talking and talking out of both sides of their mouth and you stayed resilient, you were able to see your way clear, you learned a lot from the situation, and you were able to free yourself. So with this energy here, you saw clearly that someone was trying to roof you, and you moved on. So why is this flighty ins and out energy is here? Why is this flighty in and out energy here for our beloved Scorpio and what's coming in? Why is this flighty in and out energy? Why is this flighty in and out energy here for Scorpios and what's coming in? Why is this flighty in and out energy here for Scorpios? And what's coming in for? And we have erase and rewind by the cardigans. Yeah, so somebody was trying to erase. You know what I'm saying? Trying to erase, like, like I said, like y'all could have been overqualified. Y'all could have had all kinds of um, degrees, licensing in your role, which, which is why you were applying for certain roles. But these people were trying to erase your qualifications, trying to act like you didn't do it, and rewind the time and keep you stuck. You know what I'm saying? In a pay grade that you knew that you 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 shouldn't be you shouldn't be in. And so with this energy, like they were being very unreliable and they were impulsively doing this because they were fearing for their roles. These were ju Judases. They didn't want to see you grow. This very envious energy, very envious, very much in secret competitions. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they were trying to erase and rewind your situation, your opportunities. And look at this. So we have here the three of pentacles. So doesn't it look like, you know, he's drawing something and then this person is is watching? So it's like it's like your hard work, you know, what you've been working on because this three of pentacles is someone who is very skilled, who's very talented, and it's like you're a master in your craft and you have the potential of being rewarded um, very handsomely for what you do. 
but it's like this person is like watching secretly plotting for an opportunity to to destroy whatever this is you know a race and rewind so if you erase so in this instance you you know you can't erase this but what the, he could do is he could come crumble this paper up and then guess what he's rewinding the time which is setting you back again which means you're gonna have to draw it all over again so it's almost like they're trying to like you know they were trying to like keep you stunted you know trying to prevent you from growing trying to prevent you from evolving and it's like you see how this hand is here you know, he has his hand up like stop, you know, it's like, oh, salut. You know, he, he has his hand here like stop, stop it, you know, because maybe he's done this repeatedly. This is interesting, very powerful. So we got another card here. It's face down. Should I take this card? Should I take this card? Okay, I heard here. I heard yes. So look at that, the fool. So this person definitely with this fool card and the Judas, they was trying to play you for a fool. Look at all these people. They was trying to drive you crazy also because he's like in a stray jacket. So it's like maybe this person who was trying to um, dupe you, you know, this person is literally like maybe they have mental health issues. Maybe they're little looney tunes. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing batshit crazy. For some of them, they could be batshit crazy. Like, maybe this is a narcissist times a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Tenfold. Like, you know, their shenanigans, the things they do is just like beyond even your comprehension because you don't think that low. You can't even comprehend, you know, how certain people, you know, come up with some of the shit they do to sabotage. But I feel like with this energy, this person is, they have a lot of demons, you know, and, and with this fool card here, um, I do feel like this person was trying to keep you stuck and stagnant also. You know, they tried to play you for a fool. For a long time, they literally was able to play you for a fool. I feel like this person was able to, you know, gaslight you to the point where you were questioning yourself. You was questioning your own sanity at times. You know, and right now we have Imagination. Playing by Red Pill um, featuring Cambada. And so with your imagination, I feel like that's how you were able to break free from that because you started to believe you could and you did, you know, with your imagination. Remember, your mind is a projector. It acts as a projector. And as you thinketh, you so createth. So if you're constantly thinking about the problem or if you're constantly letting someone mind fuck you, look at all these people. Imagine all the chatter going on around him, you know, but it's like it's up to him to see the truth. And this was literally like, you know, for some of y'all, y'all could have been feeling like you was going and you was going crazy because you had some very envious, you know, deceptive energy. And they were able to, you know, create these illusions. They was able to like trick you, dupe you, sabotage situations, you know, talk in circles. And when there's multiple people working against you, it's easier to, you know, to play somebody for boo boo the fool. But I feel like this Judas was literally trying to play you for boo the fool. But I feel like you broke free from that. You know what I'm saying? Because that zero is that, that's that zero point. You back at ground zero. So I feel like a lot of you had to, you know, take it back to the root cause of the situation. And you had to say like, look, you know, this is a part of like, you know, not letting other people's opinions of you or other people's, um, you know, other people influence you. You know, you had to, you know, dig in and find your own power. You had to tap into your own, you know, um, your own strength, you know, and you had to rec reclaim your power and you had to listen to your own intuition. So with this imagination song playing by Red Pill, you know, featuring Cambada, I think that's exactly what happened. You started to listen to your intuition and that's how you was able to break free from what this could, you know, this could literally be like in a, you know, some form of an illusion of um, bondage, you know, attachments. You know, being attached to these Judas energies. This is crazy. So divine spirit of love and light. See that? With this five of swords here. And then we're about to clarify the financial freedom. So these are people in secret competition with you. You know, people who are in secret competition with you and you still winning. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to be in a secret competition with somebody and they still shining? <laughs> and they still winning. It's like these people, like, they're, they're literally doing everything. They're teaming up. They gang bang and they're doing whatever they can. There's a lot of people considered like overly concerned with you. 
And I feel like in your wildest imaginations, you would have never thunk that these people that you trusted, that you loved, that you have been loyal to, faithful to, that you have been very compassionate towards, empathic towards, would do what they were trying to do, you know, which was team up together to, to take you down. This is the Five of Swords energy. So that's like people trying to win at all costs, lying, defamation of character, teaming up with other people that are, that, that are your enemies just to take you out. And it's because these people can't be trusted. You can't trust a Judas ever. And I feel like that's why you were in this bondage. Because you trusted the wrong people. Look at all these people. It could have been, like I said, family, friends. Look at all those evil eyes they're watching. See those evil eyes right here? All watching you. So you got a lot of people stalking, clocking you. It's like all eyes are on you with this Judas energy. So every move you made, I'm hearing that song. Every move you made. Every breath I take, every uh 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 uh, I'll be watching you. See that? So it's like they're watching, they're stalking, they're stalking you. It's people who like very much focus on you, and even all these people here are watching. You know, they they stalking you. They watching your every move, and that's what I was picking up on. Like people who are in secret competition with you. And you don't even know, but you still winning. <laughs> it's crazy. And we have D'Angelo really love. So you found out that wasn't real love. Not if these people are like praying on your downfall, competing. These are the folks that, you know, they hate what they can't duplicate. So because they can't do what you do, and it's why, is because you're the star. You know how to co-create with universe. You have a direct line. And this is what I was telling you. Connect with your angels, your guides, your ancestors. Ground yourselves. Be in alignment with your higher self because you'll be able to, you know, channel that power, that energy that they give you. You'll be able to manifest quicker. You'll be able to achieve your goals. You'll be able to, like I said, co-create and, and create the potions and elixirs to your life and change and transform your situations and manifest the promotions, the pay increases, the financial freedom. You know, you could be creating something that has you in the spotlight, which is why you got a lot of people in competitions trying to steal your ideas. Be mindful not to share every detail of what you got going on. You don't need to tell people before you go applying for a job or when you're applying for a job. Hey, I'm applying for X amount, uh, such and such job. Why would you tell people at your job what job you're applying for? What you think they're going to do? They're going to go and apply for that same job. And how you think you're going to feel if they get it and you don't? Like boo boo the fool. So some of y'all was trusting the wrong people. Revealing too much to people. You know what I'm saying? And you can see the eyes. It's like every move you was making. I kept hearing that song by Sting. I think that was Sting. I'll be watching you. Every move you make. Every breath you take. That's fucking impulsive. I mean, that's obsessive. Somebody watching every move you make and they every breath you breath you take like that's that's like that's scary. <laughs> so let's see why is this financial freedom here, Father Love Scorpios? Why is this financial freedom here, Father Love Scorpios? And with really love, you found out that these people didn't really love you. You found out that they were not your friends. They were not family. They were in fact frenemies. They were in fact snakes. They were Judases. They were Jezebels. They were haters. And they were plotting and scheming and trying to take you down. Some of these folks was teaming up together, tag teaming each other in. So this financial freedom is here. Oh, boy. And you have the nine of swords. See that? So somebody's really up in their head. And this is that person. Remember that song by Wu-Tang was playing, I Can't Sleep. So they can't sleep over your success. Look how they're looking at themselves. Demonic. Like they're, they're, they're riddled with so much... Um, hatred that is driving them in, they, it's driving them insane because they're so f overly focused and it was just 48 48 and that's 12 12 which is 3 3 which is 6 so they're off keel while you're finding your balance your balance is driving them insane you finding financial freedom you having this expansion in your life you experiencing blessings being rewarded Having abundance is driving someone insane. Why? Because they was working so hard to bring you down. They was working so hard 
And it's like, no matter what they do, this is the people who are in secret competition with you. It's like, they in secret competition with you and they still losing. They stuck in their head by your success. Everything they did to sabotage and block your blessings, you've broken free. In fact, you look like you've mastered the art of being in this, this, this entrapment. Like, because you're no longer using your body, you're up in your mind. It's like you've become illuminated and clear as to how to beat these people at their game. They think that they are controlling your mind or they think that they have control of you because they're like they have you in the straitjacket, but you're in control of your mind. And so it's like when you can when you have freedom of your mind, you can you, you're still manifesting. Remember, imagination and then this light is shining down, which means that you're highly intuitive. So you've tapped into like that crown chakra energy. And that's what I was picking up, like, you know, with, with that circle, you're back at the, 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 the ground, um, you're at that, um, at ground zero, you know? So it's like you're, you're taking things back to the root cause, which is like, you know, you got to control mind, then the body, and your spirit. And so regardless of what they're doing, it's like, it's not, it's not affecting you. Because this person seems to be very calm. So whatever it is they were doing... You're still, you're very calm, you're in control of your thoughts while this person here is losing it. Look at their face in the mirror. Mirror reflection. So they're starting to see their own reflection. Starting to see that they are the devil, that they are the Judas, that they are the snake, and that you aren't the problem. They were all along. And look at this. We got the devil. I didn't even know the devil was in my hand. And what did I say? See that? And this devil was the one calculating all of this. You see how he's overseeing everything. He's the one like looking over all of the, the, the you know, the, the activities happening here. So it's like he's the puppeteer. And this is exactly the, the deception card. The trichnology. The, tr the illusionist. Be very, very weary. So I feel like something clicked within you, you know, sub uh, subconsciously, you know, to, to not let people's actions affect your move to, to your mood to stay focused on your goals so this card here we have the queen of swords look at that so you realize that you are beauty in every fashion of the word and you also realize that you had to move out of the emotions and you had to be more cognizant you know what i'm saying you had to be more logical you know, you couldn't let anyone control you mentally because that's what you did. You took control here. With this zero, this is like you getting into that space of like, you know, realizing your spiritual presence. You know, tapping into your spirituality, into that spiritual power, into that intuition. And here it's like you started to see exactly what you was dealing with. You know, you had the clarity. You went through a great deal. And so through you learning, this is what led you to not trust anyone unless you see, you know, that their actions are matched in their words. But this Queen of Swords doesn't take too kindly to anyone trying to insult her intelligence. And you're really ready, willing, and able to cut off anything. And look what's wrapped around her sword or her dagger or whatever that is. It's a sword, yeah. So look what's wrapped around it is a snake. And so you're cutting the snake. This sword is going to cut that snake's head off. It's going to cut this snake off, you know, up. And maybe the snake, you know, this also could be the, you transforming into the Queen of Swords energy. Because that snake sheds its skin. So that's like, you know, rebirth. That's like almost like a rebirth. You know, when you outgrow a certain uh, belief system or you outgrow certain way of approaching things or you have a different perspective it's like you're transforming so that snake could also embody that as well but i also feel like you have you know cut off the snakes the judases the negativity around you and with this song can you stay in the rain by new edition i feel like you absolutely discovered you could you could stand anything anyone was throwing at you because you was able to call whatever moves they was going to make before they moved they made them because you were able to see clearly now you were able to see through them you was able to see this this deceptive energy this queen of swords you can't get nothing past her she's very intelligent very intuitive and so you realize exactly your power because you took your power back because you realized that self-love makes you more attractive. And this is what you started to, to embrace. 
is that you do have things to offer that you should you know you should absolutely be matched with someone that's going to speak your love language appreciate you uh, value you even at a place of in, you know employment even in your career it's like you realize that you was a gem that you was that diamond you know what I'm saying? And so you had to stay in the rain. You had to stay in the storm. And you you persevered through it all. You showed the divine that you was able to, to fight for what you believed in. And so with this devil here, you believed you could defeat this devil. You believed you could overcome. And you absolutely did. So everything this devil was trying to do to sabotage situations, to block certain opportunities for you, I feel like you absolutely changed the power. Like you changed your whole perspective you didn't see this devil as something that had control over you you saw yourself as the one in control that's powerful so why is believe you can and you will so we got some messages and i'm going to take them so we have the ace of pentacles see that so you believed you could achieve your goals financially and you absolutely did why because the your ancestors said okay you passed that test so now here, here goes that new financial beginning that you was asking for. That's why promotion pay increases here, financial freedom. You all are going to receive some sort of windfall of money. You're going to live in opulence. You're going to be expand. You're going to have expansion. There's going to be, you know, wise investments that you're going to be making. This is financial literacy. This is growth. This is new opportunities. And this is a beautiful energy. And you see this rat here. This rat was trying to like stop this from coming in. You know, you had a rat there. But you believed you could overcome that rat. And it's hiding off in the shadows. You know, in, in um, Asian culture, though, rats um, definitely symbolize abundance and prosperity. So you could look at it as that as well. But because this is grimoire, which is the dark tarot, that rat is representing the rats. You know, this Judas energy, these dark entities, these negative, jealous, hateful, envious people that were trying to block this new opportunity from coming in. But you can't stop what's destined for you. And so you believed this is that star energy, that star quality. You sent up those prayers, those petitions. You remained hopeful and you remained diligent and persistent in achieving your goals. So this is you sending up those prayers and petitions. This is you transmuting that negative energy. Remember, I showed you the star and the star was being proactive. She wasn't sitting around waiting, twiddling her thumbs and sitting there waiting for something to fall out of the sky and draw drop on top of her head she was being proactive so you have to heal you have to ground and you have to know your power and when you know your power you channel it and you transmute the negativity that's being thrown at you and you believe in your ability you remain hopeful optimistic and resilient so that's what you did and that's why this new opportunity this new beginning this is a new offer and it's because you've learned valuable lessons. There's books on the Ace of Swords. There's a book on the Ace of Pentacles. So this speaks to the, the wisdom. You applying the knowledge. The application of knowledge is wisdom. And that's what you've all done. You've learned from this Judas. This Judas came into your life to show you how to fight for what you believe in. To show you to stand direct, to stand in your power, to demand your, po your power and your respect. To speak, to advocate for yourself what you need, want, and desire. To delegate certain things, not do all the work. Even at your place of employment, you may have people who might email you, Can you do this? Can you do that? You got to learn to put your foot down and not be a yes man. And so we have Nag Champa playing by um, Common and it says Afro, um, aphrodisiac for the world so yeah so the world card you know the world reference and that aphrodisiac yeah so that nag champa that's a um that's a um incense aroma I actually sell that at my um in my Etsy shop it's a very beautiful blend I also sell dragon's blood frankincense and myrrh um and Egyptian musk um, very powerful aromas that are hand dipped for 24 hours or 48 hours excuse me I do it for 48 hours for two days but um, I digress but for with Nag Champa I feel like you know for a lot of you um, many of you could have been burning incense many of you could have been could have been like um, just doing like smudging in your home which could have cleared your your, your mind cleared your consciousness um, and gave you some sort of reset in how to approach a situation but I also feel like it's the end of the cycle because this is called um, the aphrodisiac of the world Nan Ch Nag Champa so with common also I feel like you know um, you know it, it's um, definitely saying that 
you all used your common sense in this situation. Um, all common, you know, common sense isn't particularly common to most people, but I feel like you used common sense and you knew you couldn't fight fire with fire. So you kind of like, um, like I said, you didn't get distracted. Um, you didn't get discouraged either by, you know, these rats. You know, what you did was you, you, you took your power back, you know, and I feel like you cut a lot of things out of your life. And so as you cut those things, people, places, things, and um, out of your life, it was like they, did, they couldn't find a way in. So they couldn't sabotage anymore. Whereas in the book, you know, before you may have had them like in your circle and they had access to certain information. But when you cut things off or cut people out that you discovered were, you know, these Judases, these snakes, you know, that definitely, um, that definitely opened up the opportunities for you as well. You know, because with the world card, I mean, the world reference in this song is definitely let me know that you um, completed some sort of karmic lesson or karmic cycle with some of these individuals. And that you, more importantly, have, um, you know, ascended and grown. And, and it's almost like a graduation, you know, so you've evolved somehow. So here we have um, the Four of Swords. So with this Four of Swords here and um, the Karma Dharma. I am feeling like, you know, for a lot of you, you know, that four of swords, before that four of swords, there, there's the heartbreak. You know, that heartbreak is, you know, the disappointment of, you know, discovering that the people that you trusted, the people you loved and did anything for, would have done anything for, um, absolutely were doing everything to destroy you. So it's almost like you're mourning the death of those relationships. But the divine is saying that, you know, all of the good seeds that you planted, you know, you, you sowed in good faith, which means this is the reward that you're now receiving because it's almost like you're being blissed for, you know, being someone who is righteous, for being um, stand up, you know. And so we have right now, keep on pushing, playing by MC Light. So the divine is telling you and encouraging you to keep on pushing. I feel like a lot of you are just like looking back in awareness, reflecting on the things that took place. But um, you are definitely going to move from this situation wiser. Um, and you're going to keep on pushing upward and onward, um, and you keep on um, moving forward. But I feel like good things are coming in for you, like you're receiving good karma, um, and everything is being handled fairly and justly for you because you've remained righteous um, in your, you know, in, in whatever it is um, that you've been experiencing with these negative energies, these toxic energies. So look at this Four of Pentacles. So this person here that was very deceptive, it's almost like this person is going to take their lies to the grave. They're very egotistical, very proud. They don't know how to take onus and accountability for their actions. This is why that four-page letter was showing up during the pre shuffle because what that says is, um, should I send it, shall I, you know, should I send it? And then it says text, delete, text, delete, which means someone is struggling with an apology. Um, why? Because they know that you have seen them for who they truly are. And it's almost like they're embarrassed. They're ashamed. They're ashamed of the things they've done. They're ashamed of the ways that they've behaved. I feel like with these two people watching in the background, it's like there is a sense that, you know, um, it's like this person is um, almost like it's I'm hearing mums the word, you know, but this person is now, like I said, they're receiving karma. So maybe the people that they trusted, the people that they enlisted to take you out is now um, sabotaging them in some way. Because this person does not look healthy. And so with that, I can't sleep. I feel like this person isn't eating right. They aren't sleeping right. It's like they're riddled with a lot of regret, a lot of shame. And it's because they're trying to hold on to you. But you can't hold on to someone, um, especially you know when you know that you've been very deceptive. You know, when you've been like a dark cloud in someone's life. So it's almost like this person doesn't even begin to know how to formulate the words, I'm sorry, or I'm apol I apologize. Because they're, they're still stuck in this, this very arrogant energy of like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to own up. I'm not going to do anything. And that's why they're suffering, um, you know, from this karma. They're going to suffer for as long as they, um, look, you got nothing but aces. Now you have the ace of chalices. So there is, um, you know, a, a new opportunity. I feel like y'all have been healing. I feel like you also have seen what you needed to see. There is an eye here in the middle of this book. book. So it's like your intuition has told you that some, 
individuals were like really like trying to cast spells on you just like through communicating lies and trying to defame your character by you know gossiping and and being in secret competitions and just saying things that were untrue and i feel like you 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 intuitively knew these things and i feel like as you healed because this ace is always deal with the self first so i feel like by you working on yourself this is why you have these opportunities being rewarded to you by the divine the divine has given you the ability to intuitively pick up energetically pick up on those individuals who were casting um and spewing lies and and being deceitful and trying to gather up the masses to turn against you but i feel like you know regardless of what they do you're still going to have emotional fulfillment you're still going to be blessed with opportunities you're still going to you know because you have nothing but aces and it's all because of you changing your perspective and you not seeing yourselves as a victim. Now this person's their karma is going to have to literally sit back and watch you ascend even though they were trying to keep you stunted and block your blessings. So whoever this is, whether this is a supervisor, whether these are your peers, coworkers, if this is love, if this is family members who are jealous, they won't have to sit back and watch the show, beloved, because your ancestors, your angels, these aces are the divine gifting you and blessing you, rewarding you. This is where it's coming from. You can't block what the divine has meant for you. You can't block somebody's destiny. And so we have Streets Disciple playing by um, Nas. So you have been, you know, a warrior. I'm hearing, you know, like you've been a warrior. You've been a soldier. You know what I'm saying? You've been very, very persistent and you've been very much... Um, resilient in this process and I feel like you know for this person here this judgment you know this judgment call because now you you could see clearly you know that someone was very greedy somebody was very power hungry you know someone thought that that supervisory role meant that they were God and they could like you know try to block people from having opportunities that were absolutely meant for them. Now you're able to make a judgment call about this individual. Now you're able to, you know, have this new beginning even because with this judgment, this means that you there's new horizons here. You know what I'm saying? There's new opportunities. Look at these rainbows. Those rainbows are the energy and the vibration of Mama Oya. She represents change, transformation. She also um, represents scorpionic energy. So this is your card. Judgment is your card. You will be able to make the judgment call. You will be able to choose who is, is, is a part of your life, who's a part of this, this new chapter in your life, and who is going to stay stuck and stagnant. Somebody, individuals with whom was very greedy, who felt entitled, who felt like, you know, they were smarter than they were because they was doing a lot of sneaky shit, you know, whatever illusions they were able to paint in the past you're able to see clearly because you've grounded yourself mind body spirit this pyramid in the back definitely um it definitely um represents you being in alignment with your higher self and so it's like now somebody wants to to reconcile but i feel like they only want to reconcile because you're having all of this this newness there's a lot of newness coming in new opportunities new blessings, new love opportunities even. You're emotionally content and fulfilled. And whoever these greedy individuals were that didn't appreciate you, didn't appreciate what you offered or what you provided, they're now gonna like wish they did when they had the opportunity because I feel like you're moving on to be bigger and better. You know, this is very much like that reference I was saying, like new horizons. It's like you're looking on to new, you know, new horizons, bigger, better horizons. And so we have the tower here. So someone's having a tower moment and it's because their finances now are being jacked. You might find out that somebody is going to lose their position. Someone's going to be um, demoted. Someone's going to be called out or, you know what I'm saying? Like there's something happening because it says for the love of money. Someone's having financial problems, you know, and it's literally, it's literally going to cause a sudden upheaval in someone's life. 
you know, because this tower moment represents an ending. Someone's having some form of an ending, and this could be like someone losing a job, someone losing a position, being demoted. Um, this also could speak to someone receiving karma because they were so money hungry, because they were so gluttonous and greedy that they may, you know, like I said, they may lose a position, lose a car, lose something of value to them. But this ending also denotes a new beginning. So this is meant to like, you know, because this is the divine. So the divine is literally like teaching someone a valuable lesson. You know, maybe someone has been just uh, spending too much. And so maybe somebody is, you know, being taught a lesson about, you know, having a little more money, uh, being managing their money wiser, you know, being more mindful of how they manage their money. We have the six of pentacles here. We have the Four of Chalices here. We have the um, King of Pentacles here. We have the Hanged Man here. We have the... Oop, my wand just fell. We have the Two of Chalices here. And the Seven of Chalices here. So I feel I'm just going to take these as, you know, the bonus messages. And I'm going to put them back in the deck. But I do want to chime in on this energy. So I am feeling like you all are being blissed and give, given a new opportunity. There is um, a very generous offer that's coming in. Um, I do feel like you're going to be blissed. You're going to be very much uh, rewarded for all of your hard work. I am sensing someone is feeling very strongly. They missed an opportunity. They messed up. Um, and you can see this tower here, you know. So that you can see the tower in the window, you know, right here, that tower, and there goes the tower there. So this is that same person that's going to have a tower moment. So something that they did, a decision they made, you know, it's a missed opportunity with you because they took advantage. I feel like with this Hierophant card here, I'm sorry, this King of Pentacles, I keep saying the Hierophant, but with this King of Pentacles, I feel like there is a sense that um, you know, this is your energy where you are um, finding yourself very, very stable right now, um, very self-sufficient, independent uh, and self-reliant. Um, and I do feel like, you know, someone is um, feeling like they committed suicide, you know, by by deceiving you, by betraying your trust. Uh, this hangman is now looking at things from a different perspective because, like I said, they're literally having to watch you come into some sort of abundance. I feel this King of Pentacles is your energy because you have the pay, promotion, pay increase, financial um, freedom, along with the Ace of Ace of uh, Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So this definitely feels like this is, um, you know, you being in a position where you're very practical, very resourceful, very abundant. Um, and I feel like this person here is now seeing exactly what they missed in the past. They saw things uh, very distorted in the past. They didn't see your worth. Whereas now with them looking at things from a different perspective, they could see exactly um, who you are and what you represent. I feel like a lot of you are coming into a new spiritual union. Uh, I feel like you're going to meet the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. And it's because this ace of cups is not only speaking to you healing and finding emotional equilibrium within yourself, but it's also speaking to new love opportunities. Some of you could find yourselves, um, you know, getting pregnant in a new relationship, having a baby down the line. But this is a new beautiful union. This is someone uh, that speaks the same love language. Um, and with this rainbow here, this is going to make you very happy, very overjoyed. This is going to be a positive change and transformation in your life. And I do feel like, you know, this person or whoever um, this, um, you know, this was that kind of rejected you or tried to um, block certain opportunities. They're going to come in in abundance. Uh, the seven of cups is like there's there's going to be like look at the you know, you could see up in the heavens, you know, there's like this beautiful um, this be these beautiful city, you know, this this these. It's almost like new opportunity, you know, like a new voyage, a whole new world. And I feel like when he, when this person, you know, kind of, you know, because it looks like he's more so resting and he, he's, he's going towards these new horizons, these new opportunities, this new world. And um, it's almost like these are blessings. These are gifts uh, being granted by the divine. And um, I'm sensing that, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like there's new gifts, rewards, blessings, opportunities coming in. And um, 
with this ace uh, uh, eight of chalices someone's definitely going to try to come in and bamboozle you and gaffle you into trying to accept an offer and i feel like if you read the body language <laughs> you are not with the shits you know and this is why that song was playing earlier um something about no games or something like that so you're not you're not with the shits you're not playing with anybody you have already walked away from a situation um because you've discovered that it was leaving you emotionally bankrupt and you realized somebody was a complete Judas, so you're not falling for their games, their their trickery any longer. You already hit to that. So let's tap and tune in. Let's um get some additional messages here. And I'm gonna post some messages from the Halloween Oracle deck. So let's see what we got. So on the split, so it looks like we have joy. I know we have um, Houdini, five minutes of funk. So we got dawn, the light after the darkness. And then we have joy, rejoicing in the present. So this is beautiful. So this beautiful hour definitely represents um, unexpected change, transformation, wise dome, um, just being um, in a space where you've learned a lot from some sort of dark night of the soul journey or some sort of um, unfortunate experience but it's like you're ascending you know and this this is the dawn represents new beginnings new opportunities better days ahead um, abundant success prosperity optimism illumination clarity and this joy card definitely is veggie back in that point so there's better days ahead There's new opportunities coming in for you um, and I also feel you know with that that dawn the light after the darkness i feel like you know the divine is just assuring you that you know this the, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger so this judas energy you've become very illuminated you're very wise um that experience was meant to teach you um and i feel like you've learned a lot and now you are you know you're moving on you're taking flight um you're moving on to new to bigger and better all right so divine spirit of love and light what messages do we have so with five minutes of funk, you got Houdini. So just like we said with that flight in and out, somebody was constantly, you know, ghosting you. And that's a game. You know, that's a game narcissists play. They love to play the ghosting game because, you know, they know the power of um, presence. And when they can, you know affect your emotion or your mood by just suddenly disappearing then that renders them you know you know um more you know that renders them to have some form of power over you because they do that with the intent to affect your mood to affect your emotion so if somebody's doing that you need to just cut them off you know what i'm saying you need to cut them off so five minutes of funk so divine spirit of love and light. So we have vampire emotional intelligence. So with this emotional intelligence, remember I was just talking about that Houdini um, energy, that vibration of Houdini, the ghoster, the one who just does things to, you know, um, to affect your mood. And that's what emotional intelligence is. So definitely be, be very mindful um, not to let anyone, um, not to let anyone take you in a low vibration, like own your power. Control your emotions. That's when Scorpios are in their highest vibration is when they're in control of their emotions. And nothing anyone else does, says, or tries to, to do affects you. That's why you're receiving these blessings. Because you didn't let that, that overbearing, micromanaging-ass supervisor stop you from applying for new jobs. Stop you from achieving and landing a new promotion, a new position. You didn't let that that fake friend you know steal your ideas and and get you stuck on not continuing to create you didn't let that ex-lover cheat on you and be a narcissist and stop you from shining and growing and healing and evolving and transforming into a better version of yourself so it's like with your emotional intelligence I feel like you're also attracting others who are emotionally intelligent. Be mindful not to have people who are energy vampires around you.
people who keep secrets, people who lie, people who are deceptive, people who deceive and trick and create illusions. Be very, very mindful of people's energy and of their intention. You have to speak energy. You have to feel energy. So tap in. I'll share. So divine spirit of love and light. What additional messages you have for Scorpios from the Halloween Oracle deck? Divine spirit of love and light. What additional messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? So you have joy here. So rejoicing. It says rejoicing in the presence. So a lot of you are really feeling elated, feeling overjoyed because this is your season. Tis the season to be a Scorpio, beloved. This is beautiful time. This is our season. This is our time. You know, look at that energy, that beautiful glow of orange. A lot of you feel very powerful, strong right now. You feel the strongest you've ever been, you know. And, and she's throwing her hands up like in, in a celebratory, victorious mode. So it's like, you know, whatever was trying to destroy you, it's like you've overcome all of that. And why? Because you're emotionally intelligent. You knew not to fall for the okie doke. You, you, in fact, had the antidote for the games, for the technology. And it was to focus on yourself. It was to keep your eyes on the prize. It was not to, to get duped or to get sucked in. You had to control your own mind and not allow anyone um, to, to keep you stuck and stagnant um, emotionally. So this is mastering, you know, yourself emotionally because you had to like really, um, you really had to tap into your, your crown chakra energy. And there's a lot of swords energy with that queen of swords energy. She's highly intuitive, highly intelligent, and you can't pull anything past her. And that's what you realize that you absolutely are a diamond. You are beautiful. You have things to offer. And if other people can't see it, fucking sucks to be them. It has nothing to do with you. That's on them. Let them work with that and deal with that. But you knew who you were. So that's a beautiful thing. And so we have Father Figure playing by George Michael. So many of you have father figures in the spirit realm that are protecting you, providing you with, you know, the wisdom, giving you the downloads, giving you those divine, you know, transmissions, giving you those beautiful uh, interventions as needed. You know, they may be, you know, uh, showing up as, you know, certain animal totems or leaving you feathers on your path or playing certain songs or even giving you little angel number messages, synchronicities. Um, and that is a way for them to just let you know that they are with you. Um, you have Lady de los Muertos. And this, this says acceptance and um, equality. So it's like accept your dark, your dark side. I feel like that's what a lot of you did too. You learned to balance yourselves. You know, because remember that mirror reflects was showing up in the pre-shuffle. And I feel like, you know, for many of you, um, not only is someone else dealing in their shadow side or um, dealing with their dark aspect, but I feel like that's what you all had to do. You had to go through that dark night of the soul journey. And that's even what the... Um, what the sun card represents in this grimoire um, tarot deck was it showed, you know, this these two individuals coming out of a tunnel full of, you know, ghosts and goblins and demonic entities and energies trying to keep it stuck there. But you had to fight through all of that. And now, you know, with this death, she represents death. And this is your energy. So you've gone through major changes and transformations. And now you are rising like the phoenix from the ashes. Um, and that's why there's success here and abundance and prosperity and opportunities and rewards and expansion. And it's because you've done the work. So, oh man, too many cards. I'm going to put these back and we're going to shuffle. I want to get one more card. Bang, bang, boogie. Okay, look at that. I said I want to get one more card and the card shot up. So we have, look at that, infinite possibilities. This is the skull of stars. So we referenced the star. I said the star. The star showed up in the grimoire. And now here goes the star, the skull of stars. So that skull of stars speaks to you, like I said, remaining hopeful and knowing that you have infinite opportunities, infinite possibilities. This is about you definitely tapping into your power and transmuting whatever negativity um, that was being sent your way. This is you also healing from whatever negativity you've experienced. And I feel like now there's some form of wish fulfillment. There's some sort of abundance and it's because you've been very strong in this process. And with Father Figure playing by George Michael, I do feel like your angel, your angel, this is like your angel, your ancestor that's watching over you, that gave you the strength, that helped you to persevere. 
You know what I'm saying? They spiritually guided you on your path and told you what to avoid. They gave you those downloads and divine interventions. And now there's wish fulfillment coming in. And it's because you remained hopeful, optimistic, and absolutely transmuted the negativity and learned to co-create more importantly. Look at this. Can't make this up. It says eternal love. And it says love is love is love, which is my slogan. Y'all know that. And then it says, and it transcends physical death. So with Father Figure playing by George Michael, and I'm going to turn it up just so you can hear it a little bit. And Skull of Stars, this is absolutely saying that your, your ancestors, your beloved father, your beloved grandfather, your beloved uncle, whoever it was, whatever masculine energy that was like a, a paternal energy to you, they are the ones protecting you, providing you. Um, you know, this wish fulfillment, granting you this wish, protecting you from these, you know, this negativity because they've been watching and they love you dearly and they're protecting you. So he's saying, put your tiny hand in mine. They're going to protect you and you are protected and loved beyond even this reality. This, this is beautiful, man. So if you have a father that has transcended, I know my Baba Yaya, he passed away back in 2002 but I feel his presence. I always know when he's around me. Whenever I see a red cardinal, I know that's him. I know it's my grandfather also. They both were very, very significant in my life. My Uncle Donnie as well. Um, but whenever you see those red cardinals, those could be signs that, you know, your father is um, absolutely with you. So if you are ever out in nature and you see that beautiful red cardinal bird with the black beak and that cute little peak on the top of its head, that is your father. That's your father. And they are reminding you that you have infinite possibilities. They're also, you know, granting you some sort of wish fulfillment. So this is beautiful. So there is eternal love. You are loved beyond this physical reality. That is beautiful. So let's get some messages from Goddess Guidance. And then we're going to get some messages from numerology. Uh, and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's tap and tune in. So we have the arts here on the bottom of the deck. And let's split the deck. And then we have purification, Coventina, and Sarasvati. So some of you all could be detoxifying, purging, cleansing, doing spiritual baths. Um, some of you need to do so if you haven't. I feel like a lot of you are also tapping into your divinity of creation. So if you are creating new things, if you are, you know, um, launching a business or if you have a business and you're coming up with new ideas I definitely feel like you know whatever gifts um, whatever gift you have you know continue to hone it even if you have a gift in song uh, where you play musical instruments you sing you write music um, whatever it is um, I feel like the divine wants you uh, to continue to master that craft because that gift is going to heal other people and we have deja vu playing by Beyonce so I do feel like maybe some of y'all are feeling like it's deja vu. Um, deja vu could literally be like, you know, seeing synchronicities all the time. Just constantly seeing the same numbers. That could feel like deja vu. Um, also, just, you know, maybe you feel a sensation like you've seen a situation um, before or, you know, experienced a situation before. So that could be a sign um, also that, you know, some things are... Uh, working out in your favor, I feel. Um, I know in the matrix, it, it was almost like a glitch where something was wrong. So maybe, um, you know, if if that's how you interpret it, it could be that as well. But if you are experiencing deja, deja vu, I feel intuitively that it's a, it's a, a sure sign that um, you're on the right path and something positive is taking place. So we have home here. Um, so it says that um, with Vesta, it says your household situation is improving. So I do feel like because you have this promotion, pay increase, and financial freedom, um, and because you have all these aces on the board, this is speaking to new opportunities, new ventures. Um, I also feel like with the Two of Cups, that also could speak to maybe someone you meeting you meeting someone and you all choosing to move together or purchasing a home together, living together. But it's a positive and healthy change. Many of you could be, um, you know, doing some sort of um, um, decluttering. Um, you could be kind of smudging, cleaning, clearing um, your home, releasing certain energies, washing your walls, uh, your floors, uh, you know, just getting rid of the energy, purging the energy. Definitely, if you have like, you know, a buildup of like cobwebs or spider webs in your home, 
definitely wipe that down because that's also energy dust is energy um and it, it it's it's dark energy also it's like a, it lays it's like a heavy energy so definitely do dusting definitely you know don't sit in a dark home always let the light that you know natural light into your household um you know because heavy energy dark energy loves dirt they love darkness they love that that heaviness so always try to make your home as vibrant and light as possible um and it's also you know a very um representative of the mind so if you do have a lot of clutter um happening in your house that's very indicative of how your mind your subconscious is so you want to be able to clear that you want to have clarity then you need to clean you need to you know straighten up your space um, and we have peace here on the bottom of the deck. So that does speak to you all. Um, she's, you know, Irene is, you know, com is um, basically confirming that you all are going to have, um, you know, everything's working out beautifully. You know, so there is victory, there is success, there's breakthroughs, just as Baba Ogun said. And with this infinite possibilities, there's wish fulfillment here, as we could see, along with some sort of promotion, some sort of um, unexpected cash flow some fortunate event you got fortune a wheel of fortune you know something coming in turning in your favor where you're going to be very abundant and very successful so let's go ahead so what additional messages you have for our beloved scorpios the one spirit all right let's get another shuffle one more time all right let's cut the deck this one flew out that's why i'm reshuffling because it flew out. So whenever they just fly out like that, I feel like they want to be seen. And so we have spiritual war playing by prodigy. So you all have been going through, um, you know, a literal spiritual warfare. Um, because you was dealing with this Judas. This Judas is dev devil and demonic entity and energies. So we do know that you've been going through and fighting a very spiritual war. Um, a, a spiritual, um, going through a spiritual warfare. And that's why it's important to protect yourself. Um, we got Rihanna on the bottom of the deck. So you are magical beings and you can transmute that negativity um, because you have the ability to manifest your clear intentions, focus your intention on what you desire, and it will manifest. Um, write down your thoughts and it will manifest. So definitely hone that skill because I do feel like the more you work on it, the better you get. But with this Rihanna song, many of you could be hearing the song Rihanna. And that is just a reminder for you because remember, um, we did have, um, there was a song, oh man, I just lost my train of thought that fast. But it was um, <clears throat> Deja Vu. So with the Deja Vu reference, um, maybe some of y'all could be hearing Rihanna, maybe you heard Rihanna in, in, a, in, in, your, in your dream. And so that's a reminder that you are magical, that you are powerful. So tap into that power. Um, look at High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. And that is um, the card that shows up on the box. So I do feel like this is, you know, this is like that major arcana. And because it's showing up, um, it's letting you know that you are highly intuitive, very tapped and tuned in. And that's why whatever, you know, this spell work, whatever negativity people were trying to cast upon you with their tongue. Because you know that a forked tongue is is very much it's it's a weapon you know a tongue can be used as a weapon or it could be used as a means to empower and i feel like a lot of people was using their tongues um inappropriately but i feel like you knew that intuitively you knew that and that's why you created space and ultimately cut folks off but i feel like with this sorceress you're very magical so tap into your power whatever you want tap into it i feel like you are though you know, I feel like you actually are doing that. I feel like if you start working with this this moon energy, especially new moons, um, new moons, waning moons, waxing moons, full moons, very powerful moon phases to um, you know to manifest, to to work with, you know, to to, to create spells or to do certain um, ritual work. I don't even want to say spells, but to do ritual work and not even rituals in terms of setting things out on other people, but even to improve yourselves or to call in certain things for yourselves. Um, I feel like you know that, you know, because you are, you know, co-creators with universe, with source, with the divine, um, you know, with this infinite possibilities. I feel like there's infinite possibilities forward movement, progress, success 
success that's coming in for you and I feel like it's because you've manifested it but a lot of you are teachers and you are spiritual teachers your healers your shamans a lot of you can have platforms um, social media platforms and you could be you know finding yourselves um, you know communicating with a lot of people and and, and helping them to um, you know to to own their own power and that's literally what we're all here to do. We're all, you know, we all should light the candles of those that are unlit. That way we, we could keep the light shining. You know, if you're a light bearer, then you bear light. Um, you know, so that's powerful. So why is the, um, let's um, get additional message. What additional messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. So we have go outside, Cordelia. So many of you, you need to step outside at least get about an hour a day of sunlight or even if it's not you know sunny and shiny at least go outside and breathe that good ass prana because it's going to ground you it's going to center you it's going to connect you you're going to receive divine intervention you're going to receive downloads you're going to receive you know a lot of um transmissions you know what i'm saying so you have to go outside you have to go out in nature Many of you are shamans, your healers, your teachers, counselors. A lot of you could be psych, um, psychics, clairvoyants, clairaudience. You could be channelers. You could be um, psychologists. So, you know, you have a, a gift to help heal, guide children. Um, maybe you're help, helping children through some sort of um, trauma. Maybe you're helping your own children. Um, but I do feel like, you know, you can be teachers or social workers, whatever it is that you're doing, even if you're just parents and not just, let me not put just, scratch just, even if you're parents, even if you're mama bears, papa bears, um, your, 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 your gift, your purpose, your focus right now is helping your children, guiding them um, and helping them to become stronger, mind, body and spirit. So that's beautiful. So, you know. You are very good. You're 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 definitely utilizing those skills to heal your children, and I feel like your angels, guides, ancestors are taking note of that. You have abundance coming in, prosperity. We do see that. That's about triple or quadruple confirmation, and you have domestic harmony. So that's beautiful to see. So this is the new beginning. This 46. I feel like you know that reduces. You know that 10 reduces to one. So with that two of cups there, I definitely feel like that's going to, that's alluding to the fact that there's new love coming in and it's going to make you feel elated. You're going to feel emotionally fulfilled. This is going to be someone that comes in and they're going to be emotionally intelligent. They're going to be emotionally available. They're going to speak your love language and there's going to be this harmony and this is a positive change. And we have um, H-Town part-time lover. So I feel like, you know, it's going to completely change from someone who was like, you know, perhaps they were flighty, in and out, part-time lover, and you're going to have um, someone that's going to come in, and they're absolutely going to uh, be very available, readily available, willing, capable, you know, to be your support system, to be your protector, to be your provider, you know. I feel like in the past you dealt with like a part-time lover, somebody flighty, someone who was, you know, non-committal, in and out, childish, immature, wanted to have their cake and eat it too. So divine spirit of love and light. Now there's a positive change where you're getting the complete opposite of that energy. So the bottom of the deck, we have financial discipline. So a lot of you, that's what you all are learning. That 12 reduces to three. So this financial discipline is absolutely going to help you to um, manifest more. You know, when you understand and have financial literacy and you know how to invest, and grow your your wealth then you'll make better decisions moving forward for many of you if you are overspending as i was picking up with this for love for the love of money greed and then this tower moment some of you could be you know kind of um struggling financially but you need to be mindful you know be disciplined and you know because anything too much of anything isn't a good thing so if you're spending too much there's going to come a moment where there could be an emergency that come out that you weren't anticipating and you're not going to have the funds for it. So for that's why it's important to be, I don't want to say frugal, but just be mindful of your spending hab habits. For many of you, you are practicing this already, you know, because this 48 reduces to 12, 12 reduces to 3. So I feel like you are already taking action. You're already planning, preparing, and you're taking action on financial discipline. You're setting up savings accounts. You're doing what you need to do to you know, make sure, you know, that your finances are growing. 
Um, and this is, you know, definitely improving your household. So that's powerful. So let me see. I also feel like you could be attracting a lover who is very um, financially disciplined. So they could be like, you know, um, they could be like, you know, consultants. You know, they could be people who are, um, you know, they know how to manage money uh, well. You know, so they could be coming in and teaching you that. So we have spiritual career. So what was I saying about a lot of you being healers, shamans, light workers, being psychics, clairvoyants, counselors? So you all have a very powerful connection to your higher selves. Uh, you're very tuned in, tapped into the divine, to your angels, to the God, you know, to to spirit, you know. And so I feel like a lot of you are going to be utilizing that gift because there's this sense of harmony or in spiritual alignment that 78 reduces to 15, 15 reduces to six. So there's this spiritual harmony, alignment, equilibrium that you have and you're tapping into it. And so trust your intuition. I feel like it has something to do with your psychic abilities, um, with your channeling um, with, you know, maybe you're a tower reader, maybe you are a clairvoyant. Um, but I feel like you're going to have a very successful career, um, you know, with whatever this is. It's a spiritual career, so you could be doing that on the side. Um, and we have here um, Right, um, and this is uh, by uh, Loaded Lux, featuring Method Man and Red Man. So everything is going to be all right. I feel like all is going to be right. And with this music, you know what I'm saying? And it says right. So it's like, you know, everything, I feel like everything is going to be right. And many, th many of you, it is your birthright, um, you know, to be successful. Maybe some of you have, um, you know, a very talent, you know, a great talent, a beautiful talent, a gift in singing, in music, in writing. And this is a spiritual gift, you know, because you make music that is very healing. You don't make noise. You make, you know, music that is, um, it's soul music. You know, I call it soul music. Any music, you know, it doesn't have to just be soul music per se, R&B, soul music. But soul music is when it comes from the soul, when it has meaning, when it has purpose, when you could hear it and it just makes everything inside of you just wake up. You know, you feel butterflies. There's music from, you know, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, even the 80s and the early 90s, where if I hear it right now, it's like my, 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 the hairs on my skin starts to tingle. I can remember where I was when I first heard that song. That's the type of, you know, music some of you are creating. You know, some of you have to, you know, tap into that and, and see your power. Use your power. Stand in your power. Don't allow your fears to block you because I feel like you can create a very, um, you know, a very, um, a very successful career for yourselves by just utilizing your natural gifts. Like I said, it's your birthright. I feel it's your birthright to be successful. You know, it is your birthright to sing. It is your birthright to play that instrument, that guitar, that flute, whatever it is, that saxophone. So what additional messages you have for Scorpios? That flew up and right back in. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Oh, wow. So we got intuition and music came back out and we have teaching and learning. So with this intuition, trust your intuition. I feel you're highly intuitive. This intuition is going to keep you balanced. I feel like also trust your intuition when it comes to, you know, certain ideas even, you know, when it comes to, um, when it comes to whatever it is you're co-creating, trust what you feel. If your higher self instructs you to do certain, something a certain way, then trust that. I also feel like, you know, um, when it comes to your creativity, just trust your intuition. I feel like you're also highly intuitive and that's a part of your divinity you know, as a divine feminine, divine masculine, is to, you know, just be very, very, um, very aware, very cerebral to see things from a bird's eye view, you know, because that 22, that four, I feel like you also can, can, you can sense that true love is coming in, true love, new love. Because this could be something that you've been praying for. Like you could sense wish fulfillment. You could sense some sort of stable connection. I feel like also with music, this is that absolutely like your birthright. Because right is playing. 
And I feel the divine is telling you to trust yourself because you are right in a situation. So trust what you feel, trust what you, what your gut instinct is telling you about someone because you are right. And with this music, I feel like this is telling you, you know, that it is your birthright. And this, this music can change your life. Creating this music can change your life. And it is the right thing to do. And so with teaching and learning, I feel like a lot of you, you've, you've been learning a lot of lessons. Not only have you been being taught, but you now, uh, you know, not only have you been learning and being taught, but you now shall become the teachers. So this, um, this is definitely showing. So this um, 57 reduces to 12. So that's the three. So I do feel like um, absolutely you have uh, been learning a lot of lessons in the heart space, you know, and that three, you know, is the solar plexus. That's also the vibration of the divine feminine. That's the empress in traditional tarot. So I do feel like, you know, a lot of you are, um, you know, the divine feminine, divine masculine, and you had to learn how to own your power, stand in your power. Um, we have in bold playing, don't let go of love. And I feel like that's what you did. You didn't let go of your, your, your love of self. You know, you discovered that self-love made you more attractive. And I feel like more importantly, you know, whoever this person or these individuals were that came into your life to teach you, you now are the great teachers. You know, they were the, you were the student at one point in time and now you are the great teachers. And we have spirituality here on the bottom of the deck. So you're highly spiritual. You have a very powerful connection to your spirit team, your spirit guides, to your angels, ancestors. I feel like, again, this is speaking to your spiritual career. So you are... Um, you know, some of you could be born in 77. Um, a lot of you could be born on November 7th, November 14th, November 5th. Um, and I do feel like with that spiritual career and spiritual, I feel like the divine is telling you, don't let go of your passion. Don't let go of, you know, your, your, your dreams. Um, because you have infinite possibilities here. And so on the bottom of the deck, it says drum and it says dream and journey. So as I'm speaking of you not letting go of your dreams, the dream and the journey is here. So the divine is telling you to follow your, your path because the music was telling you that it's your birthright. And now we have don't let go of love. Don't let go of your passion. Don't let go of that dream. That's why you have infinite possibilities because you have a dream that some of you are, um, you know, the divine wants you to embark on that dream. They want you to embark on that journey to achieve that jet, that dream. And we have winter. It says take care of your needs. You know? So you, you, you it's time for you to, you know, go into hibernation, you know, and start to assess, to, you know, start to observe, you know, what you need to do within yourselves. You know, reflect on the past uh, for awareness. But it's, it's, it's definitely time for you to start embarking on what's best for you. So, you know, I always feel like winter time, that's the time of hibernation. That's a time of like, you know, going into hermit mode and, you know, healing, recovering, reflecting, rejuvenating, and, you know, gathering enough um, so that when, you know, the season is warmer, you could go out and you can, you know, be vibrant again. But I feel like for you all, the divine is telling you to um, take this time out to um, really go after you what you desire and to reflect on how to do that strategize and we have she wolf unleash the wild within so this is about you know taking risks this is also about being in your power this is about being daring being adventurous and it says don't let go it says don't let go and she says you have the right to lose control so don't let go of love. You have the right to lose control. And with this, unleash the wild within. So you have the right to be, you know, who you are authentically. You know what I'm saying? It's like embrace who you are and be you unapologetically more important. So what additional messages you have for Scorpios from the angels and ancestors that? And I feel like there's a lot of moons. There's a moon on this card. There's a moon here. There's a moon there. Um, that's three moons. There's a moon on that. That's four moons. And... Yeah, so there's four moons. So I do feel like... Um, something is going to come back into balance during this full moon. 
And I feel like it's because you're going to embrace yourself. And it says take time to reflect. You know? And that's literally what I was just saying in regards to that. Like that hermit energy. So the mirror guardian. It's about going within and taking those internal self audits. Because you know that the answers you seek are found within. So divine spirit, what messages you have for Scorpios from thank you. And so we have the high priestess. So you are highly intuitive. It says harness mystic power. So you are mysterious beings. You carry and have ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. And you also have warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. So I felt like you all were being, um, you know, soldiers on this journey. Because you've been on this soul's journey. And we have Sky Father. Trust in the unknown. So this is very powerful. And with this eagle, that is your energy, Scorpios. You are, you know, you, you go from the scorpion. You transform into, you know, the uh, phoenix. And then, uh, I mean, the... Um, you transform from the, the 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 scorpion to the phoenix to the eagle, and so that represents the the, the multiple phases and stages um, of your growth, of your evolution, of your ascension. So you've had to be fearless, you've had to be strong, and I feel like you are um, very intelligent, intuitive, and highly highly um, and very mystical, very powerful. And others see that. And I feel like that's what you realize. You believe you could. You believe you could and you did. You know. And now there's like some sort of positive uh, karma coming in for you all. This is another great reading. Because I just see that you have, you know, kind of like defeated, you know, your enemy. Whatever is trying to team up against you. It's like you're you're definitely not falling for the okie doke. You're not falling into the traps. Because you have emotional intelligence. You're very strong. You have a lot of protective energy around you. You got one two three aces you have the high priestess here so it's like trust what you already know trust your inner gumption that it, the, the not the the, in, the knowledge you're seeking you already possess because you have ancient wisdom so you have a divine and direct connection with your angels your ancestors and the divine and this is why you're being rewarded because all of this hard work you've paid for it you've 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 really um been very fearful i mean fearless you know, <clears throat> and very strong, very resilient, and you persevere through it all. So this is a beautiful reading, beloved Scorpios. I thank you for tuning and tapping in. If you have found that this reading resonated, I hope that you hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope that you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. Until next time, peace, love, and light. Ashe.